ZBrush gives us the ability to store our sculpting information into different layers. This will then allow us to turn up or down the intensity of that sculpt. I'm going to open my shelf over on the right hand side, go up to my tool palette, and then dock that over. You'll notice in the tool palette that we have a pull down for layers. I'll open that up, and then click this button new to create a new layer. Now any sculpting I do on the model will be stored in this new layer. I'm going to select my drag rectangle, select alpha 22, and then click and drag on my model. So this veiny looking pattern that I've just created has been stored in this layer. You'll notice here at the bottom we have an intensity slider. If I slide this over to the right and into a positive value, you notice that sculpt becomes much more intense. If I slide this over to the left and even into a negative value, you'll notice that that will now push into the surface. You can delete this layer by pushing the delete button. Once you do that, you will not be able to turn up or down the intensity. That's essentially locked into your model at this point. So again, let's create a new layer. Change its intensity a bit. And then if we like, we can even rename it by pushing the rename button.